The candidates running for France's presidency have become official. Although they've already been campaigning for months, some only got the prerequisite signatures from 500 town mayors in the last few days before today's deadline. Ten succeeded. Five of them can hope to win 10% of the votes or more in the first round. Nicolas Sarkozy, the incumbent, head of the UMP right-wing party, is tipped to get 27.5%. His socialist party rival, François Hollande, MP for Corrèze, is polling just half a point behind. Marine Le Pen for the Front National is looking at 17.5%. François Bayrou for the Modem party is registering 13%. And Jean-Luc Mélenchon of the Left Front has 11%. The two men in the lead represent the bipolarity of French politics, the traditional left and right. Following them and following in her father's footsteps, the far-right Marine Le Pen is in her first presidential campaign. It is François Bayrou's third attempt. He is a centrist. Again, his ratings illustrate the polarity of the electorate. The former socialist Mélenchon founded the Left Front four years ago. His ambition is to rally the whole left wing together under an anti-capitalist banner. The five relative outsiders are Norwegian-born Eva Joly, the Europe Ecology candidate who used to be a magistrate. Nicolas Dupont-Aignan, dissident of the UMP, is the candidate of the sovereigntist party he founded, Debout la République, Arise the Republic. Nathalie Artaud is the choice of the Trotskyist communist party Lutte Ouvrière worker struggle. For the new anti-capitalist party, it is Philippe Poutou. Argentina-born Jacques Cheminade is representing the La Rouche movement. The broad array of candidates highlights the oddness of a system where you see some support going to either a well-credentialed green candidate or, as some would say, conspiracy theorist slash cult adept. The official start to campaigning is the 9th of April till the 20th. The first round of voting will be on the 22nd of April. The second will be on the 6th of May. The new president will take office on the 17th of May. Even before official campaigning begins, the candidates have been appealing to what they think the voters care the most about, whether it's jobs, immigration, austerity or sovereignty. The only certainty in this race is that forceful claims and self-promotion are set to escalate.